was definitely um, a surprise. Teaching this racial and social justice work is not uh, a separate identity from the other subject areas. You incorporate it into the uh, subject areas. For example, if you're talking about, um, you know, even the civil rights movement, Rosa Parks, you can compare it to contemporary issues like Colin Kaepernick. You demonstrate the different things of protesting when it came between like Rosa Parks and also Colin Kaepernick. And same thing with like voter suppression that happened. You know, when you know black men were able to first receive voting and you compare and contrast that to today's world when it comes to voting suppression that we still have today. Firm believer that every teacher should be working with this racial and social justice work. Um, I think it's very important that teachers are able to serve, you know, their students or like I call my students, their scholars um, and their families for them to have an environment, you know, a classroom where they feel safe and their voices are heard. You know, I had a black uh, music teacher in elementary and a black PE teacher, but that's it. So from elementary to middle and high school, I didn't have any black males, especially like the general ed teacher. And so I really wanted to be that representation for the classroom to let kids and also to let, you know, these black boys, you know, and brown boys know that, you know, they can also pursue these careers as well. We must oh, decenter this um, bureaucratic curriculum that we usually use to and make sure that we have a focus on you know the cultures and backgrounds of all students in our classrooms and around the world congratulations to him